Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll show you how ChatGPT can help for software testing end-to-end -end process. So watch the video till to the end, then you will get the clear idea about ChatGPT which can help for software testing end-to-end -end process. So as per today's topics, I set it up the topics this way, like creating test plan, create test case, create automation, selenium javascript and also database query help so basically for software testing what we do first we create our test plan then based on test plan we create the test cases then once we create the test cases we execute it manually and also we execute those test cases using automation it might be selenium javascript or cypress anything else then in order to test manual or automation we need to uh, write some query that pull the data from database also we will check that uh, chat gpt can help for database query purpose creating test plan purpose or also create test case purpose we will check all of those how chat gpt can help and how we can leverage those help for our real testing purpose so in order to do that we need to open chat.openai.com so let me open any browser so you need to go chat.openai.com so this site needs to your account creation you need to create your account then you will be able to do that it's a very simple process you can sign up and log in then it will be able to do that here we can ask the question so our first topic is creating a test plan so we will ask chat gpt can you please create a software testing test plan? So let's see how ChatGPT responds us. It is writing whatever the um, test plan is. We'll take from there and we'll see we'll see and verify that everything is okay or not so first thing let me copy all of those thing from here to up to end of this let me select copy let me paste in a word document paste it over here so basically we need to now we will verify that chat gpt written test plan is okay or not certainly this what is not needed because we don't need that so a software testing test plan is a document that outlines the testing strategy objective resource schedule and deliverables for a software testing project below is the template you can use as a starting point for creating your own software testing test plan so let me see what is their outline basically introduction it is correct we need to introduce our software testing in a test plan that's correct test item what needs to be test identify the items to be tested software builds module based on project we need to elaborate this point so that is correct feature to be tested it is correct feature not to be tested correct test environment where we need to test all the environment uh, network software hardware it is correct test as well correct entry and exit criteria definitely it needs test entry and exit criteria for very important for software testing test plan test deliverable it is okay testing resources definitely test strategy test case then test execution defect tracking risk contingency plan then sign up then approval then appendix like uh, your all of the total overview so that means uh, chat gpt created a template for test plan it is absolutely correct so we can leverage this test plan template for our real testing purpose that means it reduces our work uh, like a 50 percent i can say so let me go for the next point what is the next question create a test case we'll ask chat gpt create a test case for a uh, simple application login purpose can you please write 
write test case for application login with the column with the column test case id comma requirement id comma description comma then expected result comma actual result comma pass oblique fail comma comments so basically we are asking chat gpt can you please write test case for application login functionality login functionality with the column test case id requirement id description expected result actual result pass fail comments like a excel sheet so let me ask this question i am asking for a application login functionality testing test case with those columns so let me ask chat gpt how it writes so basically it is a start writing and also completed let me copy those thing and i'll put it in a excel sheet how it looks like so let me copy so basically certainly below is an example test case function application login functionality present in a tabular format suitable for an excel sheet let me open excel let me paste it over here Control v so basically test case id is a tc001 up to 6 requirement id description so verify user can log in with valid credential user login successful actual result whatever our testing purpose then pass fail we can put the comments also credential appropriate error message that's been positive negative testing forgot password functionality verify essential timeout verify account lock out for multiple failed login attempts verify successful login redirects to the home page that means perfectly correct whatever real life we write our test cases exactly it is it has been written then you need to based on your application you need to update this one and also after execution you need to update this one that means test case written is also correct so if you write your prompt exact way it will give you the also test case writing help too that means it's a 50 percent work is done and 50 percent based on your application you can update your test case then let me go forward for the next create automation selenium java script let me ask the question can you please write selenium java automation script for an application login functionality so okay i am asking can you please write selenium java automation script for an application login functionality let me see how it give us the code so basically it is writing the code see how powerful it is so after writing the script also it has the suggestion replace example.com slash login that means your application url then you need to replace the path for driver then element locator you need to based on your application you need to input your id 
or name or expat or CSS select or anything. Add more test cases or add up the existing ones based on your requirement. So let me verify the code how it is. Then we'll, we can copy the code from here. Also we can paste it in a notepad let's say notepad plus plus file. file new paste it over here so basically let me save this file as a save as desktop all file chat gpt dot java save you see the code is uh, so basically first what it is doing it is setting up the property for browser as you know only path we need to replace over here then chrome driver initiation then you need to put the your url over here then login test driver valid username valid password you need to input that then login test driver dot quit so login method everything whatever i see it is totally uh, whatever needed it written the code only you need to modify very little item like you need to element locator path and driver then you are done that means you don't need to write your like automation script from the scratch that means chat gpt also help for writing automation test script that means we create a test plan create a test case then also created automation selenium javascript it is perfectly done then we will check for the database query help so basically there are many different type of query we use but we will ask for the simple joining uh, so basically it's a, it might be single query it might be joining query it might be many complex query that just will uh, show that if it read if it can give us the query help for any joining so can you please write sql query join for table a and b so just imagine we have a table a and b we are asking can you please write sql query join for table a and b let's see how it goes as at least if it give us the query like whatever exactly it is needed so basically this is our look how is smart enough chat gpt it has written a inner join query thereafter it is writing if you have a different type of join a specific condition for that you may need to use left join right join full join or other join you can create for this two two table it is joining you see the it is the query select from table a then inner join table b then there is a condition on table a dot column a table b dot column b it's a joining condition thereafter it might have if you give the multiple condition like wire close filtering data anything it can be done basically query structure it is written perfectly that means if you take the help from the chat gpt for software testing purpose you can take the help from end to end testing chat gpt can help you for software testing and that will help you a lot because at least you don't need to write anything from scratch chat gpt can write you for a uh, template purpose then you can use the template uh, and modify for your day-to-day -day activity for software testing i believe this is a great help for software testing uh, we can use chat gpt for many different purpose but software testing purpose is a great help i believe this overview will be very helpful those who are new in software testing field 
If you think this is helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel and share it to others. Also, if you have any question, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.